what's up guys it's your host entry level and we are back uh yes i have been going a while had some problems with my internet i had to get comcast out here um to come and fix it uh what the problem was i'm in a, a one bedroom apartment and um i was on a splitter with uh, a lot of other people and all the guy came out and did was he took me and took me off the splitter and put me on straight to the line and that improved my uh, download and upload speeds. Uh, I'm actually getting the 50 megs download that I was paying for instead of uh, seven, <laughs> five and seven and one. So yeah, so if you guys are having problems with your Comcast internet, you might want to get them out to your house. And it didn't cost me a dime either. That's what they did. They, it looks like they're trying to keep customers. So uh, I'm using open broadcast uh, software uh, to record this, it's recording my monitor and uh, some game footage here. Now, this video is for AMD users only. Uh, you NVIDIA people don't need to uh, watch this video. This doesn't apply to you because you can just do all these settings from within the game. But if you are an AMD user, yes, you can use physics in uh, Borderlands the pre-sequel and also Borderlands 2. Uh, this uh, guide will show you the exact same thing that you can do on both. Now, let's get right into it and uh, all you want to do is go to where you have the game installed uh, real quick um, for those of you who, who don't know how to do that um, all you have to do is just simply click on uh, the icon on your desktop uh, go to properties and then just look here and it'll show you where the where it's at like for mine it's in, the, in my G drive here so this is, that's where we're gonna go to go find it so you just go into that folder um, mine is under uh, Borderlands PS for pre-sequel and you go into the folder now from here you go into the Willow game file then you go to config and you're looking for the default engine okay uh, you want to take this about 85 percent of the way down and you're looking for a setting it says system settings this is what you're looking for right here see that okay and about three inches down from that just measure three inches and you will come to a thing called physics level all right I'm just highlighting the whole thing for you but all you want to do is change the number right after the equal sign this will be default on zero for you AMD users um, because uh, you know they won't let you use physics but you can use physics after applying this just set this to one and you're done just change it to one just type in the letter one or I mean the number one and you're good to go um, I'm not um, after you're done you can hit save I'm not gonna save because uh, I've already done this but you can also come over here to, into file and you can either hit the save do not mess with the save as just the regular save and uh, you're good to go now what this will do is it will reset um, your game settings um, in the game so you have to reset back up the game settings and all that stuff but I'm going to show you guys real quickly that I am using a, an AMD card. I'm, I'm using an R9-290. Here you go here. And there you go. So you see there's no tricks. I don't have no NVIDIA cards in here or anything. It's just if I did, you would see see this up here. There's nothing there when I hit my, my desktop. So that's just AMD. Now I'll let you see it in the game. Alright, I'm going to put this back to my resolution. And I'll let you guys see that it's, it's actually working in-game here. So, uh, here you guys see, uh, you, you are seeing a little bit of lag here because I'm using 
I'm recording on my desktop and this game too, but and I'm also just using this at 30 frames per second. But yeah, as you guys can see, there's your physics. It's working just fine. So, um, yes, uh, guys, I will be getting some videos out for you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. I know I've been going a while, but uh, I'm back now. So, um, you guys have an awesome one.